Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see, we're here back in the shop and today we'll be working on the Corvette. Well, sort of working on the Corvette. We'll be working on parts for the Corvette. So, as you guys saw from the thumbnail and the title, what's in the box? Well, as you guys can see, this is a very, very large box. It, uh, it weighs 37 pounds and I'm not sure of the dimensions in the box, but let's just say it's pretty big and it had to come freight from Vicrez. Some of you guys may know who that manufacturer is. If you don't, let's go ahead, get this box open up and show you what we got. We got some trim pieces. These are all just plastic. We got some grill inserts. And uh, two grill inserts. Then you've got your main grill. And yeah, so that's that box. Like a bunch of hardware. Oh wow. Um, this is their panel bonding kit. So we got the 400 milliliter, that's the big kit. Then we got a bunch of the little ones, they're 50 milliliter, so a little bit less. So we got one, two, three, four of the milliliter kits. You know, we got a bunch of the uh, tips. This is basically what the uh, glue, uh, plastic resin, whatever you want to call it, this is what it mixes in. You got your small one, and then there's a big one in here. So that's for the big, the big package. And then we got a dual canister um, epoxy resin gun. That might not be the right term for it, but you guys, this is where we, we're going to put the big package, you know, this big kit. We'll put it in that gun and that's how you do distribute it. And here we go, we have the full C701 bumper from Vicrez.com. Then you've got your splitter, the reinforcement, and all that will go underneath. And I don't have all the grills out, but there is a grill section for the left, the right, and the center I kind of just have stuck in there. And this vertical piece right here, that's just a support piece for shipping. I believe you're gonna break that off. And uh, when you go get it painted, you know they, they cut that off and you put the grill in. And that's kind of just a, reinforcement for shipping. And so there you go, that's what's in the box. It's a C701 bumper for my C6 Corvette. Now you guys might be wondering, well, how's that gonna work? Well, I, I can't say this is my original idea. I did see a guy on Instagram overseas do this. I would include a picture, but unfortunately, due to like copyright concerns and all that, I'm not actually gonna include the picture, but I do have a Photoshop I did, I'll include that here. And as you guys can see, it's basically a blending of the C6 Corvette and the C7 Corvette and uh, kind of using pieces from both cars and putting together a pretty sick looking front end with, uh, you know, little bits of the C7 and the C6 Corvette. Now, before we can go ahead and get started on the C7 bumper project, I actually need to go get one more piece. and We had to do a little bit of road trip. So I, I shot some footage for that. Let's cut to that now. Alright guys, as you can see, we're in the truck, we're headed to a town 
filmed outside of Greensboro, North Carolina. I believe the town's called Eden. And uh, we're headed up there to pick up the second part of this swap. As you guys know, in the earlier part of the video, we had a new C7 bumper from Micrez. So uh, we're gonna go pick up a new bumper, a new to me bumper. So let's head up to Greensboro. Should be good to go. Let's head home. So as you guys just saw, we went on that four hour road trip for the new C6 Z06 bumper, a new to me C6 Z06 front bumper. And here's what we got. So we got a used front Z06 bumper. We've got my existing Z06 bumper, which we're not gonna touch. I really just wanted to pick up another bumper. Just, you know, I can possibly sell my front bumper for more money than I paid for this new bumper. And that would just help offset some costs on this project. Plus I've had that bumper for so long and they're kind of hard to find. They're, they're actually, they fetch a pretty penny. So that's why we went ahead and picked up another bumper. Uh, yeah, so like I said, basically this is a new to me cover. This is actually the fifth black C6 Z06 that has died to make my car. The front fenders both came from separate black Z06s, so that's two. The rear fenders came from two more black Z06 Z06s, so that's four Z06s. A fifth was the front bumper, and the hood came off a red ZR1. Now my bumper was actually a new GM cover that I put on whatever it was like six or seven years ago. So yeah, my, you know, these Corvettes, a lot of black Z06s have died to make this car. And technically it might even be six C6 Z06s because when I was running the comp gray wheels, two of the wheels came from one company. I believe it was Shrams up in Michigan. So a lot of Z06s have died to make my car. <laughs> I know that sounds bad, but it is what it is. So. Uh, a little bit more detail about this bumper. Um, like I said, it was in a wrecked car. Uh, there is damage to this bumper cover already. So there's a crack here, a crack here, and oh, actually that's just a scratch, but there's a crack here where the turn marker is. And as you guys can see, this whole clip is missing. So this part of the bumper, that's where the fender snaps into it. And this corner was wrecked in the accident. So. So don't feel too bad that I'm cutting up a Z06 bumper. Um, I got this bumper pretty cheap, and like I said, it's already wrecked. And good thing Vicrest sent all that plastic uh, epoxy panel repair and whatnot. So we're gonna end up using that on this front bumper cover. But So what the plan is to basically take this bumper cover, we'll, we'll mount it to the car, we're essentially gonna cut it in half. We're gonna keep the body seam. There's a body seam right here. You guys can't really see it too much. But we're basically going to cut somewhere along there. We'll keep the C6 turn signals. We'll fix this corner. And then what we're going to do with the Vicrez bumper is pretty much the same thing. We're going to cut it roughly down the middle. And so we're only going to keep the bottom half. Now, will we do the bumper cutting myself? That I simply don't know. Uh, I have not talked to my body guy to see if he even wants to attempt this. Like, I don't have a problem cutting stuff up, but making it look professional, making it look good and quality, that's kind of where I'm worried about. It's like, I could, yeah, I could cut stuff off, go get some self-tapping screws and screw this cover onto that cover. But there's just a lot of, uh, you know, a big nervousness about that. And yeah, so that's the plan. We're gonna use the bottom of the C7 parts. We're gonna use the top of the C6 parts and kind of glue it all together. Now, you guys might be wondering, well, why did you go with the Vicrez? I actually submitted a video about nine or 10 months ago about a sponsorship deal. I've been looking at their uh, 
website, you know, I saw a link. I shot a 10 minute video. They kind of want information of, you know, DOI and, and whatnot and what I'd be putting on the car and why and all that. And yeah, so I ended up shooting a video, I submitted it to him. I didn't hear anything for, like I said, like maybe eight or nine months, something like that. And I was like, I was actually looking at buying this bumper on Black Friday. I almost bought it, but you know, just funding and whatnot. It was just, it wasn't a project I was going to jump into, but so I ended up not buying the bumper on Black Friday and they reached out to me saying, Hey, did you still need a bumper? I was like, yeah. So they got my contact information, shipping information. They know that I'm going to be cutting this bumper up. They're fully aware of that. And uh, so they shipped out the bumper and I just got it today. So I'm really ecstatic on getting this bumper project started. And kind of the last thing I wanted to point out, I did a video like, man, it, it, it's probably going to be six to eight weeks ago, uh, just in regards to the schedule about an oil cooler. And that's actually why I wanted to get this bumper. You guys have known that I've, I, that I've had these NASCAR oil coolers for a hot minute. Like I've had these for a while. And the thought was, you know, I could definitely mount this carbon fiber NASCAR cooler behind this bumper and uh, almost be good to go. Now, it may not line up perfectly, I mean, obviously, you know, there's vents and there's angles and whatnot, but I think it'll be close enough to where I could probably use this NASCAR cooler and take up, you know, use most of the room behind this vent on the driver's side. And yeah, so that is what's in the box and kind of what the immediate future of the Corvette is. This might be a little bit controversial. Some people love these bumpers. Some people hate these bumpers. You know, I'm in the utilitarian like it's functional we're gonna have functional vents functional oil coolers for the for the oil and the trans you know the heat exchanger and uh ventilation is really a big issue on the front of the z06s the r1s uh they without taking out the fog lights you know you're, there's really no room and speaking of fog lights you guys know that i have those morimoto aftermarket led fog lights i'll be taking those off and putting them up for sale um, you know, there's no miles on them and, uh, I might as well try to recoup some funds if I can. So sell those, maybe sell my front bumper or keep it. I just don't know. And yeah, so that's kind of the immediate future of the channel. The next few weeks we'll be fixing this bumper, cutting this bumper, cutting that bumper, gluing them together, um, figuring out oil coolers. Actually guys, I'll probably do the oil coolers last. I think what we want to get done first is get the bumper on the car, figure out the C6, C7 blending, and uh, then we'll figure out all the hardware. Uh, we'll get it painted, and then once I get it back, you know, I can do the hardware stuff, whether it's a splitter, uh, a belly pan, the coolers, and all that stuff. So lots of stuff coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more, Corvette bumper project, the C6, C7 stuff, hit that subscribe button. And if you guys want to help support the people that support me, check out Vicrez.com. They've got a lot of C7 products. They've got a few C6 products as well. Check them out. And uh, if you want to help support our channel, check out our website, BoneCrusherSS.com. Thanks, guys. Have a great one.